Good afternoon. Thank you everyone for joining Grand Truth's webinar on setting up summer season strategies for CPG and travel. Um, my name is Rachel Nobles and I am a senior account executive on the platform team with Ground Truth. And I'm gonna let my co-host introduce herself today as well. And my name is Jesse Hamilton. I am an account executive on our managed sales team and I cover this Southeast territory. Perfect. Um, all right, well, we are super excited to spend the next 45 minutes with you all. Um, a few quick housekeeping items before we get started. Um, so first, all participants are going to be muted, but we do encourage you to engage in real time within the chat feature. So go ahead and type in, let us know where you're dialing in from. We love to see where everyone's joining from. Um, a full recording will be sent to all registrants after the webinar ends. Um, as we go, if you have any questions, please submit that via the Q&A function all throughout the session. Um, be sure to share your feedback via the poll survey during the session. And then lastly, if you have any follow-up questions, please email adexpert at groundtruth.com or go ahead and just connect directly with your dedicated Ground Truth representative. Um, and you guys can kind of follow up from there. Um, okay, so today's agenda. Um, we are going to include just a quick overview of location marketing and how Ground Truth verifies and interprets visitation data. Um, Jesse and myself will then share helpful strategies and insights that can be applied to predict what media and shopping trends the summer months will bring. Um, and then we'll devote about 10 to 15 minutes at the end to address questions submitted from all attendees as we go. So definitely submit your questions. Um, so without further ado, um, we will go ahead and get started. Uh, so first, Ground Truth, who are we? Uh, we are an advertising company that leverages physical world data to build unique audience and targeting solutions for marketers. Um, so since 2009, Ground Truth's focus has been to launch the idea of location as its own category in the marketing landscape, similar to what Google did for search and Facebook did for social. Um, over the last decade, we built technology focused on using the power of location intent to drive performance. This concept emerges from the belief that a person's physical patterns in the real world paint a more robust and true depiction of who somebody is as a consumer. So just an example, um, I may visit online retailers like Restoration Hardware, Crate and Barrel, West Elm. Um, I may even follow and like their pages on Facebook, but in reality, I'm walking into retailers like Home Goods and Target because those stores are more aligned with my budget. So how does Ground Truth take location data to reach relevant consumers at the right place and the right time? Um, we do this through location determination, place determination, and visit determination. So to make all this happen, we first pinpoint device IDs, and secondly, we contextualize their location information. So we work with partnerships, uh, we have partnerships with over 130,000 different mobile apps. So think like Pandora, ESPN, Words with Friends, um, they help us to understand the location data of mobile device IDs who access these apps. So once that a device ID is identified, the location data is vetted for accuracy. Um, we contextualize these device IDs location information through our proprietary technology called blueprints. And just for those of you who may not know, blueprints are, think of them as surgically precise virtual outlines of a point of interest or business. And we currently have about 5 million in our system to date. Um, so these blueprints functionality can be categorized into two buckets. Um, first, visitation um, to help detect past and future foot traffic and also provide the metric of a visit. And the second is creation of targeting tactics unique to our platform, such as first party audiences that are built based on past visitation patterns. So for example, we have audience segments like beach lovers, Walmart shoppers, sit down diners, outdoor enthusiasts. Um, our technology then uh, provides marketers with the holy grail of an offline attribution, which is the metric of an in-store visit. So that's all super important, but at the end of the day, that metric really means nothing if you can't rely on its accuracy. Um, so each year, Ground Truth undergoes and publishes a third-party validated location accuracy audit conducted by Numerator. Um, the accuracy audit compares Ground Truth's in-store foot traffic data against Numerator's confirmed purchase data for a sample of key retailers. 
um, that's captured through shopper receipts. So numerator then measures the reach and accuracy of Grancho's database of real world consumer location and behavioral data. And 99% of the visits to the retailers observed on Grancho's platform were confirmed as accurate by numerator's receipt and survey data. Um, in addition to that, um, Ground Truth is the first and only ad tech provider to receive three MRC accreditations across place, location, and visitation data. So um, now that we have covered a little bit on Ground Truth and our technology, let's get into CPG and shopper marketing trends and how to take advantage of these insights our tools have gathered to help with some summer season strategies. So first, um, let's identify some key summer holidays and when it can make the most sense as advertisers to get in front of the ideal summer shoppers at the highest point of intent. Um, so when you think of summer, you think of summer holidays, um, we have pulled some insights and information from our kind of the, kind of the top three, the big three, if you will, um, summer holidays. So first up is Memorial Day weekend. In a lot of areas, this holiday is kind of the kickoff to summer, right? It's when school's ending, it's when people are, you know, summer break is really starting. So in Memorial Day weekend for summer 2021, Visitation to grocery stores was up 30% the Saturday before that Memorial Day holiday as people are prepping for barbecues and events and things like that. Um, additionally, visitation to convenience stores was up between 13 to 20% the days following the holiday, likely as people are like maybe traveling back home if they went on a trip for Memorial Day weekend, that type of thing. Um, next, the big summer holiday for the July weekend, right? Uh, visitation to big box stores was up 25% the day before Independence Day. Um, and then also it looks like the majority of last minute food runs the day of occurred at grocery stores with foot traffic up 19% compared to your yearly average. Um, and then last, kind of that final summer holiday, Labor Day weekend, um, convenience stores saw an 18% lift the Friday leading into the weekend. And then again, visitation to convenience stores is up between 13 to 20% the days following the holiday, likely as people are traveling back home and getting back to the real world. Um, okay. Now that we have covered when might be the best time to reach your ideal customer, let's get into some detail about who you want to reach utilizing Ground Truth's first party audience segments. Um, now, this what you see here on the slide is just a small sample of all the different first party audience segments that Ground Truth can provide. Um, but for example, we could target Walmart shoppers and beach lovers or Kroger shoppers and beach lovers. The Walmart and beach lovers, we have over 328 unique mobile device IDs in that audience segment. Um, for Kroger shoppers and beach lovers, about 25,000 um, unique mobile device IDs. Um, additionally, CVS shoppers and camping enthusiasts, 2.1 million unique device IDs in that audience segment that could be utilized. Um, and then Walgreens and outdoor enthusiasts, 4.3 million. We've got millennial summer travelers, about 5.6 million uh, unique people in that segment. Summer backyard barbecuers, 45.7 million. Um, addition, in addition to some curbside audiences, you know, pickup and curbside has been huge these past few years. So we've got a Walmart curbside audience you could utilize. We've got a Kroger curbside audience you can utilize. Um, in addition to Albertson shoppers um, and beach lovers as well, where you see we've got about 1.1 1 .1, uh, million people in that unique audience segment as well. Again, this is just a small sample um, of the number of different first party audience segments that Ground Truth can offer. Um, Jesse's actually going to cover even more examples in her traveler segment when we get there as well. Um, but OK, so now that we've talked through examples of you know, who you might want to reach and when you might want to reach them, let's talk about the messaging, right? The messaging is just as important as reaching people at the right place in the right time. Um, so a couple of different messaging examples that you can offer within Ground Truth. Um, within mobile, we've got product rotation. Um, as a functionality, we've got add to cart and we've got offer amplification, uh, amplification, Ooh, it's a mouthful. Um, so really the biggest thing that um, we see when it comes to engaging engagement and a higher click through rate is adding a simple like GIF or animation to your creatives. Um, we've seen that a subtle GIF animation improves CTR by, by about 15%. So a very clear call to action in addition to an animation to your creatives 
um, is really going to get your ad noticed um, when you're getting in front of those right people at the right time. Um, in addition from there, let's talk about summer creatives and what's going to make the most sense to get in front of these ideal summer audiences. Um, so first, let's summer barbecue. You know, I think this is kind of a little bit of a no brainer when it comes to summer creatives. Um, July is national grilling month. You've got Father's Day. We've got all these summer holidays and events that we know that people are going to groceries and convenience stores to buy products for. Um, so a really strong, um, you know, summer barbecue messaging can really make a lot of sense during the summer months. Um, next is summer break. So any type of family friendly products, snacks, grocery, uh, pool and beach products, any type of that type of messaging is really going to land well with your ideal summer audience. And then lastly, we've got DIY. Uh, yarn and lawn care is huge during the summer months. People are doing a lot of summer home improvements. Um, so again, just kind of really thinking about what type of message is going to land and resonate the most with my ideal summer audience um, is going to always make for the best performing results when it comes to any campaigns. Now, in addition to running mobile campaign, it is really important now so more than ever to think about a full omni-channel approach and also running video campaigns. So what I mean by video, we'll watch a quick Creative example it's here. It's time for a fresh start. Hmm. It's out with the old and in with the blue. Switch to healthy blue buffalo today. Pick up blue wherever you buy pet food. Now, so for those of you who may not know, um, Ground Truth, we can also offer CTV and OTT targeting in addition to mobile and desktop. A um, couple of little stats about CTV and OTT. So eMarketer marketer actually reports that video will account for over half of total programmatic digital display ad spending in 2022, which is up by over four percentage points from 2020. Um, another stat shows that a brand can miss up to 40% of its desired audience reach by ignoring CTV or OTT in its media plan, depending on the target audience segment. Um, so if you're not already talking to your GT rep about how to layer this into your existing marketing plan, I highly encourage you to do so. Running OTT ads specifically makes a lot of sense for travel. Um, consumers are likely to watch streaming services they typically watch at home, maybe on their tablets and mobile phones as well. Um, so um, on the topic of travel and tourism, I'm going to pass it over to Jessie, and she's going to cover in more de detail travel and tourism trends with Ground Truth. Thanks, Rachel. Love to hear it. So today, as Rachel mentioned, I'm going to be going over just some best practices and industry insights for travel. Rachel, if you want to go ahead and take it away to the next slide. So with the travel industry continuing to move towards recovery, I mean, we're seeing that pent up demand for travel generating a really strong increase in the air related travel and hotel stays in. So with our first party visitation insights, we've seen that millennials and leisure travelers are leading that charge. So as you can see on the left, we're able to pull age distribution of travelers. So we have some really great first party visitation insights that allow us to build out these audience profiles around that. And we'll get into some more examples of ways to layer that on and leverage in your campaigns. Um, but we're seeing that as Less companies are requiring work-related travel and are now offering more flexible work-from-home arrangements. We're seeing that a lot of the people that are traveling are actually kind of all around their, their leisure and hobby seeking. I mean, everyone that's picked up golf as a hobby during the pandemic is now traveling to enjoy those holiday uh, hobbies in person that they picked up. Sporting events are back and people are just excited to plan around meaningful moments again after not being able to for the past several years. So Rachel, if you want to take it to the next slide. Again, we're seeing this emphasis on revenge travel, making up for lost time with trips built around weddings, vacations, reunions. So leisure travel is expected to continue to grow almost 7% in the next two years. Delta actually just reported that in March 2022, it was its best month ever for sales. And I'm sure we're going to continue to see that trend, especially as more and more airlines, including Delta, uh, are making masks optional now, as we all saw this week. So we can we hope to continue to see that trend go up and see those best sales going up. 
Again, monthly domestic travel uh, ticket bookings revenue in February 22 exceeded 2019 levels for the first time since the pandemic um, began. So really exciting to continue to see those trends. And now more than ever, it's really important to amplify your brand messaging to get in front of the right consumers. So how are we gonna do that? Rachel, if you wanna go over to the next slide. So as frequent flyer miles and hotel rewards have gone unused over the past couple of years, now it can be a great time to reconnect with these past visitors and future-proof your marketing strategies around that. One way to do that is with your fly versus drive markets. So at Ground Truth, we're able to reach uh, users in markets that have a high probability of coming to your destination with our really hyper-targeted precision. So not just at a state or DMA level, but we can also get really granular with our targeting down to the zip and city uh, zip and city levels. So I think a lot of it has to do with convenience. So let's say for your fly markets, people are looking at the convenience of flying still. People that maybe haven't been traveling as much in the past couple of years might not be wanting to dip their toes in that international travel market yet. So taking a look at the nonstop direct flights that are available to your destination, that's a really great way to get people to see the value of coming to your location. Um, and then with drive markets, so reaching those last minute bookers for a short weekend getaways. So making the most out of your marketing dollars by engaging those locals with affordable and flexible getaway packages. And then when also trying to reach your key drive market travelers, you should also be reaching audiences that are recently seen at relevant places like car rental locations to really reach those local points of interest and connect with those that are most likely to make a trip to your destination. Rachel, if you want to take it on to the next slide. So it's really important to not just take a look at your fly versus drive, but also domestic versus international travel. So like I said, a lot of people are just getting their toes wet, again, going into the domestic traveling. So maybe focusing on some of those more luxury destinations domestically, where maybe people used to go internationally and might kind of put their dollars towards more domestic luxury travel locations. According to the U.S. Travel Association, domestic travel spending in the U.S. will grow from $860 billion to $968 billion in 2024. So really exciting to continue to see those numbers go up. Rachel, if you want to go to next. So it's really important to uncover your audience profiles and how they differ. I think it's really important to continue to adapt your marketing strategies to reflect the evolved consumer lifestyles. Again, with so many people working remotely and moving to different parts of the country and having that flexibility, they're changing their daily routines year over year. So now more than ever, it's important to find and engage with them in moments that matter. So here are several examples of the audiences that we've built out as a result of the blueprints that Rachel showcased earlier, um, but just some samples of our points of interest audiences that we've built based on lifestyle, demographic information, and just all around multiple points of interest. We have affluent shoppers, luxury shoppers, discount shoppers. So if you have more of a luxury destination you're trying to get people to go to, really reaching those people with those higher household incomes, those people that have the affinity to be more likely to purchase kind of those, those more luxury hotel locations. We also have business travelers, casino goers. We can target families, uh, different age demographics. So if you're looking to target not just millennials, but you also want to run your media against Gen X or maybe a more affluent older crowd, we can definitely do that as well. Um, and we can also target some of those international travelers that I mentioned for your domestic travel. So really trying to take advantage of the fact that they might not be doing as much international travel as they once were. And then Rachel, if you want to go on to the next. Um, weather triggering is another really unique opportunity that Ground Truth is able to incorporate in our targeting uh, because we do have our owned and operated Weatherbug app. We have some really cool capabilities that enable us to influence consumer behavior. Weather plays a really important role in that. I think we all know if it's raining, obviously that's going to change our plans. If we're in sunny Florida, we might not be going out to our beach destination. So really being able to take advantage of those moments. If you have 
indoor destinations, you have a museum, an indoor venue, being able to take advantage of, hey, it's raining right now, it's thunderstorming, why not come into our indoor location, really remind people that you're there, um, and just in order to influence their behavior. So some weather triggering options we have based on the different parts of the world you're in, and, uh, we can do weather just based on kind of like that rain or sunshine, like I mentioned, based on humidity, wind, pressure, and different alerts. So definitely some cool ways to just enhance your creative, get a little bit more dynamic in your strategies. And then on to the next one. So as Rachel teased earlier, we're not just a mobile company, we are an omni-channel advertising solution. So we're able to target people not only across mobile, desktop, and tablet, but also connected TV and OTT. So what I love about connected TV is it's your same big screen commercial you see playing kind of across all linear that we're, we're so used to, um, but you get digital targeting and reporting capabilities that you aren't getting anywhere else. So not only are we able to see that return on investment with time on screen, because connected TV is non skippable inventory, you're getting to see an aggregate total hours of your brand awareness and brand impact during the course of any connected TV campaign, but you're also getting your video completion rate, we can report out on store visitation. So if you have specific points of interest within your travel or destination that you want to report out on, we can certainly customize those blueprints there. And then um, we're also able to incorporate our in-house creative team if you wanted to leverage any overlays with mapping or QR codes. And we'll get into more on that in a second. But what's really important, and if you take anything away today from here on our CTV product is that we're placing your ad in front of the right audience, regardless of what content they're consuming. So all of those audiences we just ran through, whether it's millennials, leisure travelers, golfers, art enthusiasts, entertainment enthusiasts, we're able to target those consumers across any content that they're watching. So it doesn't matter what their guilty pleasure TV show is, you're not buying based on the content, you're just getting it in front of the right eyes, in front of the right consumer. So it's really important to know that every ad is being seen by a captive and engaged viewer, and that means you're not in wasting you're not wasting your impressions or budget. In fact, after viewing a CTV travel ad, 65% of travel decision makers visited the advertiser's website. So it's also really important to have those key capabilities that allow us to get the user onto your website to be able to find out more. Rachel, if you want to go to the next one. And what Ground Truth has done, we've recently launched our Ground Truth QR codes powered by Flow Code. So this is an actionable ad solution we're able to run across not only connected TV, but also across linear TV. So it's really a great way to build direct connections with your consumers. There are additional touch points. So not only can we target them across mobile and get that click through rate and engagement rate, what they're doing in their everyday day to day real time routines, but also when they're back home on their couch and back at home, we're able to increase, increase your brand and product awareness by reaching consumers on that big screen. So essentially they're able to just pull up their phone on that 30 second ad spot scan the QR code overlay that we've created for them and either have them go out directly to one click through URL. So just one website or with our flow code landing pages, we're able to have it go out to several different websites. So let's say you're a big time visit travel, travel destination market. You want to showcase not only the hotels that are available, but also some cool things to do while we're there. You can definitely incorporate all of those things on the QR code and um, the landing page available there. What's also really unique with the QR codes is people can actually, ca you can capture these scans and build your own first party data. So if you want to have it sent directly to a website where they're able, able to fill out their information so they can find out more. It's a way for you to just get that first party data, fill out an email um, just so they can continue to drive down that sales funnel and additional kind of touch points for you to have with them, not just from connected TV, but drive them, uh, drive uh, more of your product into their mailbox as well. So Rachel, if you wanna just go to the last slide. If anybody has their phone with them right now, this is an actionable QR code. So you're able to scan this and actually get to a flow code landing page. You're able to see that kind of in the center 
Um, this is one of our current clients that will be testing this later in the year. We're really excited to just have the opportunity to not just have the QR code, but also have some overlays, getting people to engage and get a bit more of a feel about your brand. I think this is why it is so important to continue to drive people, not just lower funnel, getting them to your destination with the heads and beds, getting to getting the ability to track them, getting to your points of interest, but it's also the upper funnel. So getting that brand impact, building that brand awareness when they're back home. Um, and then one other unique thing that I'd love to tease is that we're also now launching our connected TV pixels. So essentially, let's say my dad's not the quickest person when he's watching TV. He's typically looking at his phone while watching TV. So he might look up and see a QR code, maybe a little too late, but he might see the Florida Keys and Key West brand messaging there. If he were to pick up his phone, go onto Google and then look up the Florida Keys and Key West himself, we can actually match that IP address back to that timestamp and still be able to showcase a virtual visit as a result of your brand message on the connected TV space. So just some really cool different avenues for us to continue to have touch points throughout the day with your consumer. So that's kind of our deep dive into travel and CPG. We'll kind of put open the floor for some Q&A if anybody has any questions specific to either of any of the insights we went over or any best practices that relate to your brand. All right, awesome. Thank you, Jesse. that was awesome. Um, okay, I am looking in the q and I don't see, I don't see too many questions. So if anybody has anything that they've been holding on to and they want to send it through, um, go ahead and send it now. Jesse and I are happy to tackle it. Um, the, the one thing I see, it's not really a question, but it says QR codes are cute. <laughs> um, Marco, I agree that there are very cute, but not only are they cute, they are, um, an amazing added value tool to add to your, to your marketing, uh, dollars. So, you know, again, if you're not, if you haven't already talked to your GT rep about these, um, we both highly encourage you to do so. It's such a cool tech. Um, it's a really great way to just kind of continue to extend your messaging, um, and just kind of drive awareness or drive clicks or whatever your goal is really ultimately for your campaign. So again, not only are they cute, but they're very functional as well. It looks like I also just saw a question from Roger asking, do you have a way for us to target hotel visitors around our businesses in real time? So absolutely. So there's a couple of ways to do that. We can either customize our blueprints and build out the four walls, blueprint out your property and target people while they're on the property. Um, in real time, we can also just do simple proximity targeting. So doing a 0.25 0.5 one mile radius around your location to capture people in real time that way. Um, and then with those custom blueprinted segments that we're able to build out, we can actually continue to see, hey, we're going to track that visit. Somebody went to your location, continue to track them, build them as a loyalty audience segment and try to continue to bring them in throughout the year. So if we saw them once, let's continue to build them as a loyalist. And anytime they come back to your destination, choose your hotel brand. Perfect. Um, okay, I saw a question in here from John Woods. He said, how would you recommend targeting B2B customers at a convention? Um, we actually, we get this a lot. You know, there's a lot, especially as events are coming back and people are actually going to in-person and all of that. Um, you know, I think this in the simplest form, I think a, a geofence set up around the convention center during the dates of conven the convention is going to be the best way to get in front of your target audience. Um, in addition there, you can think through, um, are there any hotel blocks or, you know, um, other event centers where the attendees of these events might be during the off hours of the event and target those locations as well. And then lastly, you're going to want to build out every targeting audience. So you're going to want to capture everybody that you're initially getting in front of at these conventions into a custom audience segment that you can then essentially follow once they leave and continue to engage and re-message them down the road when they're back at home, maybe at their you know, point of work and making those business decisions. Um, that's a very high level uh, breakdown of kind of how you want to target those people. And you can talk to your ground truth rep in more detail for your specific example. Um, Jesse, it looks like there was a weather triggering ad. You want to you want to tackle this one? 
Yeah. So with weather triggering, it's completely dynamic. So it completely is dependent on where the user is. So let's say I'm in Miami, it starts raining. It's going to be completely dynamic truly dependent on your location, but that same ad could also be running up in, let's say Fort Lauderdale, just a few, few, few short um, steps away, and it might be beautiful and sunny. So it's completely dynamic there as well. So completely dependent on where the user is throughout their day. Um, you can also run this. I know that we've kind of run this idea across several different clients. So let's say you want to focus on the Northeastern market and driving them into the Southeast. I know that that's a really popular um, strategy to incorporate. So kind of highlighting when it's uh, there's a snowstorm or it's snowing, bad weather up North, being able to almost lean into that. I know it's a, it's a little sick and twisted, but being able to say, hey, looks like you're in a snowstorm, wouldn't you rather be in sunny Florida? So definitely some cool options we have around that. We can do dynamic triggering for our strategies, but we can also do dynamic creative that way as well. And not only can we do dynamic weather creative, we can also do dynamic audiences, we can do dynamic language. So a lot of really cool capabilities there. And all of it is done in the back end. No static banners are, um, are involved in that at all. Perfect. Uh, okay, see a couple questions from Stuart. So do you offer CRM targeting? We do. Um, there are a couple of guardrails in place in order to get that going. So um, I just definitely recommend that you connect with your Ground Truth rep directly, talk through what it is that you're looking to accomplish, whether it's a pre you are providing the CRM list or it's looking you're looking for third party. Um, chat with your rep in more detail and see um, you know what can make the most sense given your goals. Um, and then another question from Stuart, so retargeting, are we retargeting people who have visited a page off an ad or those who have been exposed to the ad? So this was, this retargeting is going to be exposed to the ad. Um, and our retargeting is based 100% off of impressions and visitation. So we do not do website, like page visit retargeting. Um, it's really going to be for this exhibit, I'm assuming you have a follow-up example about the event retargeting. So it would be somebody that's at that convention center, visited the event, and then was impressed or saw your ad, that's what would make up your retargeting audience there. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, they keep moving. Uh, we're, uh, okay, so where does the geofence advertising show up on potential client devices? Um, that's a great question, and that's really going to be dependent on your setup on the front end. Um, just so you have the back full kind of background. So Ground Truth, we run on mobile, tablet, desktop, connected TV, and OTT as far as devices go. So within your setup, you can go in and select, or we, when you're chatting with your managed team, you'll decide on the front end which mobile, de which devices you want your ads to show up on. If you're doing an event-based targeting, you know, at a convention center, it's going to make the most sense to do mobile and tablet, and then you can maybe do retargeting on desktop or, you know, that type of thing. Um, but yeah, there's a number of different devices that you can show up on through Ground Truth as a whole, and then depending on your targeting tactic, you can chat through with your rep which devices are going to make the most sense given your goals. Okay. Um... Jesse, you want to take this one? Marco said, so if I send a completed video or ready video, you guys place the overlay QR code. Yep. So all we need essentially is your video asset. So 15 to 30 second video. And then you send over the click through URL to the website you want to drive to. We have in-house our creative team. They'll create that QR code. They'll send it over to you if you have any revisions, but we can definitely get as unique and creative as you want to on that. So as you saw with the Florida Keys example, we kind of had more of a side panel, being able to focus it, not just on um, not just the QR code itself. So we can definitely play around with that, but completely something that we would handle in-house and then give you the opportunity to revise, make any edits. And then that's just all done on the back end. We set that up for you. Again, no hassle. It's just added value on your campaign whenever you run those connected TV um, uh, campaigns with us. There is a 10,000 campaign minimum there. Um, so as long as you're meeting that, we're all good. 
Um, okay, I see weather triggering. Can we do high pollen counts? Um, so we do not do pollen counts. Um, there's a number of different other weather, weather triggers that you can you can utilize when it comes to springtime, summer, whatever it is you look like, but pollen specifically is not one, is not one that we offer. Um, okay, where specifically do advertisements show up? Google AdWords, banners, apps. Um, okay, so our ads are going to show up depending on obviously which device you target, but let's say you're, you're targeting on mobile. Um, so our ads are gonna be display banner ads within apps. Um, and John, if you uh, want to connect with your Grand Truth rep, um, they can chat through that in more detail. We have a sample inventory list that you can read through um, and get some more information there. Let's see, did I miss anything? Jesse, do you see any questions that we might've missed? Nope, I'm looking through it right now, but it looks like everything's been answered. And again, this is being recorded. So you'll have you'll have all of this in your inbox after the webinar today. And if you have any additional questions, like Rachel said, you can reach out to your Ground Truth at, uh, rep. We're also available if you have any questions, we can stay on a couple of minutes, but you'll have all of this available in case you miss anything or, or join late. So excited to just continue to, to have this conversation going. I think these are both very relevant verticals and industries to continue to chat through, not just throughout the summer months, but incorporating these strategies throughout your evergreen campaigns as well. Absolutely. And I saw a couple chats saying they weren't sure. Some people didn't know who their rep was. If you're unsure, um, you can reach out to adexpert at groundtruth.com and they'll get you connected with the right person. Um, and then lastly, if you guys can please just make sure that you fill out the survey um, before you hop off today, that would be so appreciated. That just helps us to, um, you know, better everything that we do and know that we can, we're offering you guys the right content that you're looking for. Um, I think that is, oh, uh, are you targeting mobile? This is mobile. I think mobile gaming, I think is the question. Um, so if you're, if you're asking if we run in mobile gaming apps, the answer is yes. Um, there's a number of different gaming apps that we run in. Um, and then one more question was, miss the percentage of device capture at events, Stuart? It truly depends. Um, there's no guarantee that we can reach every device at an event. It, there's a lot of factors that go into that. Um, but again, your rep can kind of chat through that in more detail um, and go over what, whatever strategy is that you're looking to do. Um, all right, awesome. Well, um, again, like Jesse said, it was so great chatting with you guys. We really hope that these are some helpful strategies for you guys to create some successful summertime campaigns. Um, just continue to follow up with your rep and hope you all have a wonderful day.